So it has been quite some time since we last talked about one hit rapper Blueface and his extremely toxic relationship with his now baby mama Krishan Rock. I'm dead serious when I say that these two meeting was probably the worst thing to ever happen to each other's lives. This woman went from looking like this to looking like that. I will say that Blueface always did kind of seem like a bit of a scumbag to me, but it's like she took that scumbag fire and just poured gasoline all over it. It's like when they say some people are a match made in heaven, only this is the exact opposite. And last time we talked about this couple, they were going on like a rampage of toxicity. And one of the last things I said in this video was that this woman, Krishan Rock, was saying that she was pregnant. And me personally at the time, I was not buying it because people were also posting videos in the club of her smoking and doing other very reckless activities that pregnant women should not be engaged in. But at this point, she has delivered this blue face baby. It was all well documented on their bootleg TV show. And I will give that to Blueface. Like, he is probably one of the most successful people I've ever seen make an entire career off of one garbage song. Like, Bust Down Tatiana is so bad that it makes Little Pump's Gucci Gang look like a work of Mozart. And a couple of days ago, something crazy went down on Twitter that left a lot of onlookers saying that Blueface deserves some time behind bars. And it all started when Blueface apparently posted up a picture of his baby's Tic Tac, if you know what I'm saying. Thankfully, this picture was wiped off the internet long before it could have crossed my timeline. But apparently, the point of him posting this picture was to show off that the baby had this hernia that was just growing and growing and growing. And he's saying that the mom, Krishan Rock, was doing absolutely nothing about it. And basically telling everyone that she's an unfit parent. And that's where we'll really kind of start this video today with these now deleted tweets. Where Blueface says, baby still ain't had the surgery for his hernia. She lying to him about he healthy. He don't have a because the hernia is in his is so big. And she's steady on here talking about my wiener. Fix our son wiener first, then go find someone else to ride. He then goes on to say, as long as she go live talking about me, I'm gonna be tweeting. I've been doing a great job not saying nothing, but she keep going on and on about me not wanting to come to her house. I'm not coming. She began hit her whole pregnancy by different men. Why would I care now? Everyone tag cuz on her post, her page, whatever y'all gotta do to make this happen so I can stop being the topic of her live. Let's start a GoFundMe for her and little baby to meet. And Chris Sean has been going live throughout this whole thing to the tune of around 150,000 concurrent viewers. So it's obvious at this point that people just love the degeneracy. He then says, I tried to do the right thing and keep it private, but this whole keep going on and leave me the F alone, you crack baby. She's a bad mother. Yes, she's unfit. She's been pushing the surgery back, missing the appointments so she can do what she wants. I went to be more thinking it's surgery. They talking about she missed the appointment. And then he just goes on to keep saying some more crazy stuff that I don't even want to read. He then goes on to say, it's my son. I'll post cuz if I want. The f who gonna tell me not to squabble up or shut up? Cat's out the bag. krishan has been a mom for two weeks and she's more focused on A. And being outside instead of her son's surgery and hernia. You had a baby on live. You mad about the truth being live. So just a whole lot of brain activity going on here between these two. I truly just do not understand how CPS is not involved at this point. And this was actually Krishan's immediate response on Instagram Live once she saw that Blueface had posted that picture. My son picture, Blue. Why would you post my son picture, Blue? Why would you do that, bro? Why would you do that, bro? She really had to bring the baby back into the frame just for, like, dramatic effect. I mean, I get that she's crying and everything, but... I don't really see her as being any better than him. She was obviously not responsible during her pregnancy. And I really think she kind of used this whole pregnancy arc to try and keep her name relevant and use it as fuel to the fire when it comes to the drama between her and Blueface. Cause y'all, I'm thinking he's just mad about me not signing to Milk Music for real. I only did the video just to be cool with him. Cause I know how type of people like he is. He, if you're not cool with him, he gonna start playing those bitter roles. like. Start using court and lawyers and CPS. So I was like, that shit, I'm cool with you, your anything you want. I want to actually sign paperwork with Milk Music. I don't want to. I didn't do it. And then when he want my he want my checks back into his name from Zeus, I didn't want to do it. I can't do it. So you post a picture of my son for a clout. Why are you posting our son, bro? Then why would you post it, bro? I 
I mean, she can cry all she wants, but at the end of the day, she's still using this situation to siphon cloud herself. I guess what I'm trying to say here is there's really no good guys in this situation. I mean, specifically here, Blueface is kind of the bigger idiot, and he's the one who actually might deserve to go behind bars at this time. But they've both really just shown to be menaces to society. <laughs> So then I guess she kind of composed herself. She continued on with this Instagram live. And here's where the apparent expose really is going to begin when it comes to, you know, Blueface. And that's crazy. I sent the picture to let him know that it's serious matters about our kid. I would never knew if I sent that you was going to post it. <gasps> oh, bro. If my brothers wasn't locked up, bro, it'd be a lot going on, bro. You need to just go to jail, bro. You just do. You just need to go get sent away, bro. Your probation officer need to do what he said on that paperwork. He said what he said. You already got a ass probation officer that's not with you. You better off dying, bro. Real shit, bro. You're better off being not here, bro. Real shit. I don't even know why we even had a child together. It brought the most evil part I've never seen. Like, i seen evil before, but when I got pregnant and you was trying to while I was pregnant, when I was five months, that should have been evil enough. Then when the baby's here, you post it. You're a cold-hearted bitch, and you might be gay on the low. <laughs> what? How about you? Where is this coming from? And I'm sorry, it's just hard to take her seriously when the whole time she has his face tattooed on her neck. She just said it herself, hey, I saw all the red flags. But she probably just ignored them all because she's also a walking red flag. I mean, let's be honest, we all knew that this whole situation was gonna end up in disaster from the very beginning. You tell little baby how you wanna think about him. You're rapping about him. You're tweeting about him. That's some shit. Do that. When you got crushes on people. When, remember when we were a kid and you got a crush on somebody when you was little? And you used to mess with them and pick with them and agitate them, but only because you liked them? He liked little baby. He's gay. He wanna be the hoochie. I mean, I just feel bad for the baby in this situation. Imagine growing up and becoming a teenager and seeing all this online. It's like from the very beginning, you never really had a real chance at life. And this is actually why she's saying that Blueface is gay because Blueface seemingly dissed little baby a couple days ago, saying little baby thought he knew me. How you let another grown man feel up on your booty? Little baby thought he knew me. <laughs> How you let another grown man feel up on your booty? Couldn't be me, boy, I am not a hoochie. I mean, I won't lie, this picture on the right here is pretty crazy. I don't need no money, no child support, but I'm pressing charges, bro. You wanna play this police game? Someone please save this baby. And this is actually Blueface's response to all the drama. He took the whole offset route claiming that his phone had been hacked. My phone was stolen yesterday, I just got a new one, guys, I'm back, my Twitter was hacked. I mean, what this guy just did was just straight up not legal. Krishan then says she's dropping a diss against Blueface in response to all of this. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. And I really don't understand, but these people really do seem to still have a lot of fans and supporters. This was a Blueface concert out in Los Angeles a couple of days ago. And all I really gotta say about this is that you know it smells crazy in there. And now as of this morning, Blueface is now claiming that this baby is not even his. Tweeting out, I knew there was something off. I don't think that's my baby. That DNA test was a little weird. When I read it, it seemed fake. I had no control over that test. Plus, why would I have a baby in b -more when you have an alleged father in LA? And the guy claiming the baby live in b -more. It's funny how he even tweets out like he raps. The sense is all off beat. It has absolutely no flow. And here's actually a picture of him looking at the DNA test results on his little bootleg show with Krishan Rock. It's just crazy to me, guys, that over the last couple of years, it seems like just flat out degeneracy gets absolutely rewarded in our society. Like we just covered that clown Johnny Somali. These two have been running around causing a ruckus for quite some time. But hey, I guess that's the social media era for you. I wanna know what you guys think about this situation down below. Personally, I feel like the two of them are just both not very good people. But as always, I do wanna thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. Some other crazies out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace.